what I'm personally most excited about and I have been for the last two years and it's coming together very slowly. Uh, but what I'm most interested in are the layer twos and, and specifically more the ZK rollups that are then enabling the ecosystem to just grow much better when there is actual demand again. The, the problem that we constantly run into is that whenever there is a bull market or any sort of increased interest, uh, the blockchains just cannot handle the, the throughput that is required to actually onboard enough users that then discourages users, creates kind of unfair rules where the larger players or the more wealth, wealthy players are the ones that get obviously the benefits of like getting into the blocks faster because they pay more and all that. So I think layer twos, which are now kind of at the very close to a breakthrough uh, in terms of actual usability, um, I think that could be a huge narrative uh, for the next, you know, two to four years. Uh, just, just very scalable um, and also decentralized ways to uh, for blockchains to operate. Um, I can go more into detail into how these work, but that's where I'm mostly excited. In. That's where I think a lot of the breakthroughs are happening these days. And what, what are the most prominent ZK rollups? Uh, the most prominent would probably be um, Starknet, uh, ZK Sync, Scroll, and Polygon is also developing their own. So those are the four that I think are kind of like head to head. I'm personally most excited about Starknet and Scroll and ZK Sync are kind of similar. I'm, I'm excited about all of them, to be honest. What I'm actually excited about is that this technology is something that really like scales blockchains properly without making really bad sacrifices overall to security and to other things, which generally layer ones do. Um, so and what I'm interested in is just like seeing them compete against one another and then just see one of them actually win um, over other layer ones. That's something that I think I'm mostly interested in. But but personally, I'm mostly following Starknet. There's some nuance between like what, there's some slight differences between their approaches, but ultimately I don't think it's going to care much. I think what's more, what's the most important is that they're finally going to be usable soon. They're finally going to be usable by normal people as well. And that's going to allow just an order of magnitude yeah. more um, use cases to build, be built on top. Because right now it's very limited by just blockchains in general. And that includes layer ones. Like you look at the most scalable ones like Solana and they have liveness failure when they go down for a day or so every you know two months or something. And that's that's something that is very unappealing uh, for someone that wants to use DeFi on top of these blockchains that wants to uh, kind of transact in a permissionless way, you really don't want liveness failures. You don't want the blockchain to go down and then like your position like what it did because you had no way to prevent it. Like, so that's what, that's what yeah. I think is most exciting right now.